Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and I'm glad you're here. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Now, today we're going to do a little bit on transitional colors. Transi transitional colors are just colors that you have in your painting, but you need, let's say, a transition from one section to another. You may need a support for one section. What are you going to use? Do you reach in your repertoire of colors and pick out something that you think is going to work, that looks like a neutral, that looks like what they are? You don't know what to do? Well, this is the answer. They are transitional colors, which to me, it just holds the painting together and makes it everything work because everything is within everything. Now, the other thing that it does that I find so exciting is that you learn so much about what you can do when you mix all of these colors together. And you think, I don't have to go to the store and buy these. I can make them. So what I'm going to do is to select three colors. I'm going to select a pink, a green, and a blue. And black and white are free. And we're going to mix these to show how that you can get unbelievably beautiful transitional colors. So I'm going to change cameras so we can look down on this and I'll see you there. All right, so we're going to use a green. I'm going to use this green. I'm going to use transparent orange. I will use Brilliant Pink. I will also, remember, black and white are always free. So I'm going to put my black up here so I don't accidentally hit it when I'm reaching for white. And that way, it'll be much better. Now this, I will get out quite a bit of white. My green, I've got my transparent orange, I've got my brilliant uh, pink, my black, and my white. So now, I'm going to say, if we need, I must have some black on this. You know what? I'm going to move and get a different brush. So I'm going to take the green. I'm going to add a little bit of transparent orange what do we get we get kind of a a rusty color don't we get a we're going to get this rusty green kind of a forest type color let's add some pink in here oh boy we talk about pink that is pink and that look at this you know, I kind of like this color. It's a mixture of the transparent orange with a tad of green in there. But let's do something different. Let's mix some of the uh, white into this and see what we're going to get. That looks a little raw. Let's add a touch, and I do mean a touch, of black. So what we're going to get here is a very kind of a sophisticated coral. What if we add green to that mixture? There's always the most important question that you're going to ever ask in art is what if? What if I do this? So I'm going to add green to this. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is gorgeous. I like that. I don't know about you guys, but I like that. So if we add white, a little bit of white to that, we're going to get a lighter version, of course. 
Let's add a touch of black. And we'll get a toned down version of this. This is fascinating that you can do this. Now let's just take pink. We are talking brilliant pink. This They name this correctly. That is a um, Michael Harding color. We'll add some white. You're going to get some panty pink, as I call it. If we add this, you're going to get more of a rosy color. Has a little bit, has enough of a of the transparent orange in this to make it less pink, which makes it really more palatable. If we add some black to this, See, it's toned down, and actually it's really quite beautiful. Then if we add white to that, we're going to end up getting, I think, a beautiful gray. Pinky gray. It's not gray yet, is it? Got too much of that on my brush, so it makes a big difference when I go put it out. So now, let's see. There we go. This is getting into the pinky gray look, which I, if you need a pinky gray, this is how you get it. You just mix what's on your, on your, in your colors. What's in your painting is telling you exactly what you need to use. Look at that. That is stunning. Now let's add some green to this. Little, little bit of pinky gray. Love it. Add a little bit orange into this. I mean, I don't know if there's a color I don't love. So I say that over and over and over again. Now this is looking very close to this. So what you do is that you keep playing. And one thing that I suggest to all of my, the artists that I coach is to really Make a chart, and I know they're boring, and I know you don't want to do it, but you don't have to do a big one. But if you make a chart just by mixing some colors, guess what? It is going to be, oh, look at that. That's more of a taupey color. So what? let's do something for fun. Let's mix this. Let's mix this. Know that all of these colors now are in your painting. And you're going to mix that. What are we going to get? The pink and the orange are definitely going to take over. So we've got to neutralize this. So if we want to make a dark, can we make a really rich, beautiful dark? Over, let's start, let's do it over here. Look at that rich, browny dark. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now let's add some more black. Now let's add some white. What are we going to get? Because we've mixed green, transparent orange, and brilliant pink. Now it is a brilliant pink, let me tell you. <laughs> Beautiful pinky ter uh, taupe. Beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these colors by the fact that we have literally mixed in different proportions, different ways. 
we've mixed these three colors. Now I'll just do this just for fun. And what do you think I'm going to get? I'm going to get a color close to this, but warmer. I'll put it over here. I am absolutely amazed because now we can make this lighter. It's beautiful. And we can also just make this let's see. hang on a minute just adding the I'm just doing the turquoise I mean turquoise what is on my mind here I don't even have a turquoise out okay so we've got this color this is a transparent orange with white plus everything that's on my brush Getting your transitional colors is within your painting. Do not go to a repertoire of paints and think you're going to get a color that's going to work because it won't. Now you might want to take a little of this and put it into here. This is called playtime. This is called playtime. And I, I, <laughs> I love playtime. This is what I love to do, just to find what color can I make that's going to be a little bit different. These, all of these colors came from three colors in black and white. I find that totally fascinating. I love it. This should help you know that no matter what three colors you choose, you've got a winner because this is going to hold your painting together. If you've got a bright, if you've got a very bright pink section uh, along with this, and by the way, let me, let me just show you this. When you mix, um, this and this together, you get the most gorgeous pinky coral that I have ever seen. I love this color. And it tends to glow, so you might want to remember that. But when I decide on maybe my palette, I will put out some of my three colors and I will start mixing together and I will look at this and I'll say, oh my gosh, here are my transitional colors. These are my neutrals. I can do all of these colors. And guys, I could go on and on and on uh, and, and make more, but this is enough as I'll actually have room for. Hopefully this helps. If you've got any questions, just let me know. And uh, I will answer them, but I love doing this. This is so much fun. So I will see you in the next video. Have a great week. Paint with bold colors and know I love you. Bye-bye.